Marry me? Oh, good you. Hey, you. Oh, midsummer in the north. Hello, puppies. Oh. So I thought I'd do a beta of a follow-up recording to the last recording in regards to, so what is my game plan now in regards to rehabilitation? With my puppies. Hello, sweetie. Um, okay, so Bella's wings healed. Second time she's had an injured wing from the boys. Um, mind you, not Flint here. Uh, Flint and little Kit Kat here, they're relatively new. I've only had them for, I think, about a month now because time goes go quick um and yeah <laughs> uh it's not fair <laughs> um i I'm, i did make a a i stressed to the breeder that please don't give me birds that have disabilities because i i can't take any more at the moment you know um i have a lot to do i mean i can't afford a car so you know i need to be able to free my time up a little bit so i can do more things to generate more income. I've got businesses, all that sort of thing, and I need to get more income coming in on those. Um, I, I can't do that if I have to spend another two hours rehabilitating a bird. And uh, here we are, me spending another couple of hours every day rehabilitating birds. Um, I already spend about three to four hours a day on my birds already. Just, you know, I've, yeah. So when I have to take on an, an extra, like that, in that fashion, honey, I'm not, not talking you down. It's okay. Um, but, you know, pragmatically, when I do that, then that means I need to carve out another two hours because whilst I've got all the other birds outside at the moment, um, I've got these two, especially, especially Kit Kat here, and you can't have ducks on their own. So it means you're going to have to have two or three birds with them. Where, whatever, wherever they are. Um, so there's another two hours out of my day that I didn't have. <laughs> and, you know, the other, the other aspect of it is really, that's really shitty is that the, the breed is not telling me, hasn't told me what's happened. She's like, oh, I didn't know. How can you not know if your bird's feet are full of plugs? Here we go, nookie time. Full of, you know, staph infection plugs. And the boy's feet were crusted over. Um, he was breathing laboured, like wheezily, as though he had asthma or something. Um, his legs were so weak, he'd take one step and then sit down. Um, how can you not know that shit? And Kit Kat here was limping. Now, you say she had her injury in the car on the way up here. Um... It's, yeah, just on so many levels, just not telling me what's happened and how long also impacts my ability to treat them because I, I don't know what the history is. Um, and the fact that I paid quite a bit for the birds too. <laughs> it, it's just, uh, just people are getting more crummy and shitty in the world. Um, I, you know, just by gauging from overall public opinions and i'd say at least 15 percent of the population have take enjoy being crap to animals because they think animals should be li like little cute pokemons and uh you know um but they don't actually have a regard for the actual animals welfare you know they, they're probably obsessed with poop means and they probably do vlogs on poop means um, there is a really beautiful proportion of the population and there's a population that's not here nor there and um, I, I think the, the kind that's kind of toxic to the natural world nature and children and all the beautiful things that most humans enjoy and love and appreciate regardless of your, your culture and background that you know anyway it's it I digress there but anyway <laughs> um so I, I do <laughs> you go Bella Bella and Flynn <laughs> thanks for the the duck horn oh he's a good boy <laughs> so yeah I mean I really needed to get two silvers because you know Bella's wing will get injured by the other two boys because their bodies are shaped too differently she's a big girl 
And Fawn especially, he gets frustrated because he's 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 smaller than her, and he's trying to mount her, and he's just, as you can imagine, and then he ends up hurting her wing by accident in, in trying to mount. So I needed to do that. So going forward, I appreciate getting the the second visit um, to the vet because uh, we were also fixated on the the foot that still has the bumble plug that you know the mechanics of the left side I, I honestly I, I miss myself so getting his um, opinion on that however I disagree with that about the strapping because what's happening is Kit Kat because she's putting all her weight on her right foot where she's got the bumble plug which is probably why that bumble plug is still there she is turning out her left side and her hip which means it's also sticking out further. Over time, that's going to become permanent if we don't correct that. And one of the ways I can think of correcting that naturally and over time is to actually strap and stiffen up this right leg so it forces her to shorten her stride and stand up on this right foot instead of dropping down on it. Do you know what I mean? Because this turning out abduction of the left hip joint heel hip um, is actually going to get worse and worse she's actually going to get quite a lot bigger as you can see compared to Bella here who's fully grown she's going to fill out a lot wider so the thing with silver apple uh, yeah legs their legs are quite far apart and they they're further back in a situation than the, the other ducks in the domestic species breed so we got to get on it now because at the moment I can't have her running around outside of the rest of the flock. I've got to keep her in the run. So we need her to be stabilised. Just very much like Suna is stabilised. And she's actually doing really well. We've managed to get a little bit of length in her left leg in that hot bear, which is permanently disabled. But I'm just so proud of her. So the other other her oh, Bella wants to come out. So the other part of all this is because of Flint's legs have been weak, um, I also keep him in the run, but also to keep Kit Kat company. I'll get you in a sec, Bella. All right, I've got to get off the camera because this one wants to come out. She's ready to come out like a bulldozer. Look at her. Ooh, Bella. Um, but anyway, so keeping Flint wants to be with the rest of the flock, but he can't yet. Okay, um, I'll let him out sometimes, just a little bit, and then bring him back in. He's still quite weak in the legs. We need his legs to be stronger. So I'm going to take him to the vet on Friday just to rule out anything else. Um, also, kind of documenting evidence, just in case I need it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get these guys out. So strapping up of the Kit Kat. Um, they're still being semi-isolated in the run. Can't wait for them to all to be together though. Oh. But anyway, blessed be Mary Part. Bella, 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 Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Oh, my snowball. Are you my snowball? My snowball. Look at you. You're like a mean, big ass snowball. I love it. Yeah. Bella, Bella, Bella. Mucha Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Mucha bella. Ba, 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 ba. Look at your freckles. Look at your freckles. Hello, Flint Five Four. Look at that tail. <laughs> Suna. She's so pretty funny. Anyway, that's it from me. I thought I'd just finish that because I don't I think I I tied off where I was at, what I was going to do in my game plan. And um, next time I do a vlog, hopefully we'll, we'll have some really good progress on, on all fronts. With uh, Kit Kat, food definitely is going to be fine, but it's Kit Kat's the main one here. She's pretty much holding everyone back. We're going to get her up to scratch. Isn't that right, Kit Kat? Yeah, look at her. Oh, sorry, she's also in the water like this twice a day, and that's important for her to move her hips without having weight on because it's having the weight on her hip when she walks forward or forward flexion, which is actually from the hip, which is actually what's causing her the most grief. Um, and all down the, <laughs> oh yes, you scored, you're the dude. You're the dude. Yes, we're in fire forward. Yeah, you're the dude. Look at Suna's like, get me out of here. <laughs> Suna. 
Oh, I'm going to put you out with everybody today. You've been a good girl. She's been inside the, the run with these two all week, so she's going to enjoy being outside of everyone else. Well, they're all outside, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, bless the Mary Pup. Let me get these kids out. Yeah, look, you outside. Yeah, cuddles, dry you off and put you outside. Yeah, doggies. Soon as so above it all. <laughs> look at <them>. Woo. <laughs> oh, puppies. Dolphins. Feather dolphins. Oh, no. 